Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Kenny's Kitchen and More. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, I thought I would do a get ready with me. I've been wanting to do these and um, I'm usually just rushing, getting ready and out the door. And so today I said, you know what? It's really rainy and crazy weather here. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do a get ready. So I got my shower and everything and I just put my hair back in a quick braid and um, I do have a tiny bit, not much at all, of mascara on um, and I do have my moisturizer on. So I'm going to start with this and um, I showed it on one of my previous hauls. It's the Believe Beauty brand. Um, this is Skin Finish Tinted Moisturizer. I absolutely love it and so regret not picking up more. If I see this at the Dollar Tree or even if they don't carry it there anymore in any of our local Dollar Trees, I'm going to pick it up at the Dollar General because Karina over at Mommy and Kimberly's Adventures told me that this was a Dollar General product and that I could find it there. Um, I have it in the buff color. It looked sort of light in the store and it looked like the lightest one that they had. Um, but it's actually a really nice color on and it actually, it gives me a good color tint to my um, face. And of course, um, I may get a little darker come, uh, come spring, summer, definitely summer as, you know, I get more tan. Um, and then I have that I put it on with. This is the e.l.f. Buffing Foundation. And um, I had asked my daughter when we were at Walmart one day, help me pick out a good um, uh, foundation brush. And she picked this one out that was like a reasonable, you know, price. Um, they had some in other sets, but she knew that this was good. And I really do like the e.l.f. Um, sorry, I was getting a text, um, but I really do like the e.l.f. products, but I usually just put a little bit, and this is like the color, it, like I said, it actually looks a lot darker, um, on than it does in the packaging, um, see what I mean? See how light that looks, but it's actually, it does not actually come out that light, so be careful when picking out these colors, um, which, like I said, this color works really good for me. I'm really, really liking it. I need to just move my hair a little. Um, I probably actually, I have a little bobby pin here that I can use. I can get it so that my hair stays out of my way. I'm going to use my mirror, guys, okay, because it's easier for me to see. With being a contact lens wearer, it's a lot easier for me to see. And Laura over at Laura the Bargain Hunter, she will understand exactly what I'm talking about. Because um, she too is a contact lens wearer. You know, the only thing I forgot was, um, I forgot to bring my, um, in my little bag here when I came to do this video, I forgot to bring my MAC uh, finishing. It's like a, set. it's not really a setting spray, you could use it. Uh, it's like a facial mist. Um, sometimes I put it on before I put my foundation on and that actually seems to give me more of a like a glow or sometimes at the end once I um, put, put this tinted moisturizer on and then my blush then I will put on um, spray that MAC spray and I had got that in my Ipsy box my most recent Ipsy, well, my January Ipsy box, and I really, really like it. So I do have some redness in my skin, um, and I didn't bring my green um, corrector and uh, Sweet Courtney over at uh, Courtney Shanice's Reviews. She told me, you know, that that green corrector would really, really help, and it does, but it also helps to remember to to bring it <laughs> and I don't feel like running back to get to get the uh, corrector because it's not like I'm really 
going to be going out anywhere today with all this heavy rain. But I did plan on stopping by a, um, at the church, at, at the church doing, they're doing a, um, like a ladies tea and having a marketplace. And we did, we were going to stop by that, but it was just pouring so hard that it kind of just like turned us off from going out in it, discouraged us from even going out in it. It's just, the rain is so heavy and I honestly don't like to drive in, in heavy rain just because most people don't know how to drive and drive, their driving scares me and I would rather stay home and be safe. And <laughs> But I did order some stuff anyways. I ordered some chicken salad and I ordered some pimento cheese. So And then I have this blush. I love this. This is the third date blush. Yeah, it says you have you you make me blush, uh, and it's by the Balm. That's the B A L M. That's the brand. Another um, Ipsy product that I got. Yeah, it's really pretty. And then I I love this. I want to say that Tony got this for me over at Creative Chica Halls. I'm pretty sure she did. If it was somebody else, I apologize. Please correct me. I have no problem being corrected. But I'm pretty sure it was Tony. Um, I'm gonna try to turn you maybe. Maybe I need to turn my light as well. I'm gonna go get a tissue here in a second. And um, maybe I'll get my finishing spray as well. And when I do, I'll correct this lighting so you guys can. It's really bright for me. And it, it helps me to see right here to put my makeup on, but you guys may not be seeing very well. So I will put myself in the light so that um, being in the light's always good, right? <laughs> um, so that you can see it better. So like I said, I do have a tiny bit of mascara on, so I'm going to scrunch it, which my Bella always tells me, Mama, don't do that when you have your um, mascara already on like that. She's like, you're going to rip your eyelashes out. But you got you to gotta do it at least once, you know, once you, I tend to do it a couple times. And that's where she says, Mama, don't do that. You're going to rip all your eyelashes out. Better put a little bit on down here at the bottom. Of course, Maxie's up here with me. I don't know if you can hear him. He's kind of um, pacing around. Not really pacing around, kind of. He tends to be restless, and I don't know if it's like from his heart issue or if he's just restless in general. I don't know. I don't drag his bed around with me from room to room. He's got like a, a little furry blanket in the fireplace room, the living room, when I'm sitting there reading my devotional, he'll lay down there on the the furry blanket and um, relax down there with, you know, by me, because he always wants to be with his mama. And then um, I'm his person, you know. Um, and then in our bedroom, he has his bed. He has a, um, you know, big, huge furry dog bed. And then his other blankets. He's like a big baby. He has blankies everywhere. And then in the other living room where the TV is, he has his, um, there's also a big quilt that's on the floor um, by the couch. And then, oops, and then he'll lay there, um, you know, as we're watching TV or whatever. Pac-Man machine is in there if we're playing or if we're in there playing Uno or um, Pictionary, whatever. But yeah. So there's that. I didn't put any eye masks on this morning and this eye is more puffy than normal. And I think, and again, contact lens wearers will understand this. I think like pulling your eye down so much and putting those contacts in year after year after year because I've been wearing them since my like mid-20s. Um, I don't think 
that helps. Um, so I certainly love the under eye pads, but like I said, I didn't treat myself this morning and put them in, but it's okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of, um, I have this hard candy that my sweet friend Ellen had gotten for me. Um, and this is in the brown, it says Brown's Brow. Um, and this is what it looks like. If you can really see it. <laughs> Focus. Um, poor thing's so bent. Um, and, and that number is, oh, the color is light medium. And then I use this poor little thing here has been used, really used up. This is e.l.f. again, and it's the Instant Lift Brow Pencil on the back side of it. Of course, on the one side it has the brush that you, you know, brush your eyebrows down with. The other side it has the color, which as you can see, it has a lot on there. I'd like never use it. Um, and the pencil's fine. I have used it before, but I, ever since Ellen had gifted me this, I really, really love that. Um, have you ever just like, ladies, you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> have you ever just like went outside the house and forgot to do your eyebrows and then you get somewhere and you look in the mirror, like in your car or something and you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> because, I mean, it's not like my brows need a ton of help. Well, okay, they do, they need help. But it's not like they're like non-existent, you know, or missing. Um, so it's not horrible, but to me, it is definitely noticeable. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Let me get a little concealer for the side of my eye right there. I don't know why it's super pink on that side. Mm, I don't know. But anyways, um, don't, don't forget to clean these two guys. When you do your makeup brushes, your eyeshadow brushes and things like that, be sure to put your brow brushes in there too. I mean, this one actually like pulls off. You can pull it right out. Um, but yeah, be sure to um, do that. I think I might, this weekend, I think I might um, color my hair. I'm really enjoying the darker color um, from the fall and winter. Um, but it's showing so much gray. And I don't mind the gray. You know what? It's like, whatever. It is what it is. You know, we're all getting older. It's going to happen. You're going to have gray. You're going to have wrinkles. But we all try to maintain and keep that off as much as possible, right? Um, so, anyways, I think I might. I, I did pick up a box of lighter color because with spring, like, basically here, um... I'm going to, you know, lighten up a little, but I want to do it gradually and not like shocking, like, oh, oh my gosh, you know. Um, but if you look back on my older videos, you'll see how blonde my hair is and it gets even lighter in the summer. Ouch. <laughs> it gets even lighter in the summer as I'm out in the sun, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm thinking about letting my bangs grow back. Y'all know that I had, um, cut them and then they were like, you know, the squared off kind of look or whatever you want to call it, um, for like the fall. And I may do that again this coming fall. Um, or I may do it in the summer. Who knows what mood I get in to change my hair, but I don't, I haven't changed it up a lot over like the last few years because I used to get a lot of different, um, hairstyles. And you know what? I will add a couple of those pictures with my different hairstyles at the end of this video. So when you watch this video, stay at the end and I'll insert those. And you guys can see just how many different like kind of styles and stuff that I've had. I don't think I have too many photos. If I do, I really have to dig in the attic for those of different colors that I've had. Like I've had some lavender highlights when I had my bob. Um, I had um, red highlights, um, which later turned pink because I've told y'all before that blonde hair really adheres to color and so whatever color you choose you better like it because it will stay with you for a while <laughs> um so yeah but um I am going 
I'm gonna go and get a little tissue to, cause I hate when I get that foundation feeling on there, you know? I'm gonna go and get a little tissue clean to clean this. I'm gonna go get my spray and bring it back, do my setting spray. I am going to get probably just a little bit of lip gloss. Oh, and I'm gonna put my eyeshadow on as well. So guys, stay with me. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I turned another light on to give us just a little more light in here. See y'all, you can see that gray. well right okay so that's weird what how did that chapstick end up there anyways this is the Mac I was talking about max fix it um yeah and I really like it y'all can see I've used a lot of it there's not much left in there um and then this is the elf makeup mist and set Okay, and I'll um, use my mirror. I like to be able to see what I'm doing here. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anyway, so that's done. And then I do, I, I use lots of different palettes. Um, today I'm going to use, and my, um, Ellen had blessed me with this too. And then also the green one. Um, but, um. Lois from Life with Lois says she had blessed me with a lot of beautiful palettes too. And I just switch out depending on my mood. Some days I don't wear any eyeshadow at all. And then some days, you know, I like to glam it up a bit. <laughs> um, you can see my favorite ones because they're really being used a lot. Um, I don't, I mean, I, I play with color, but like I'm very basic with putting my eyeshadow on. Honestly, guys. Um, I'm using this brush here and I love it. It's so pretty. Look at the little pink, like pink ice rhinestones and then it's got the silver glitter down there. Um, but like I said, I know some of you here on YouTube can really just glam it up with your eyeshadows and, um, I've never really learned or even tried to learn to really just because, like I said, a lot of times I don't even wear eyeshadow. So I'm very basic with my um, eyeshadow palette, painting on my eyeshadow palette. It's just swoop, swoop across the eyes. Once in a great, great, great while, I'll do eyeliner if I feel like I have time to really mess with it because... Um, just because I'm not that good at it. Um, and not only that, I just don't feel like I really look right good in a lot of eyeliner. My daughter, she does the cat eye and it's amazing. She's so good at it. Um, it looks beautiful. And I think she has the perfect shaped eyes for it too. The way it turns out, it's just perfect. And she gets a lot of compliments when we go places. A lot of different women will tell her how good her cat eye looks and they wish they could do it like that and they try um and, and maybe she'll one day be a makeup artist I don't know if she decides to go that route but she's really really good at it and um but I know she gets frustrated with it too she's just like oh, there are a lot of q-tips you know straightening and dabbing but it always looks so beautiful and me um yeah I would just look like a hot mess and I think a lot of the reason too is like I have big round eyes and so I don't really think cat eyes will look good on me. Or maybe if I have, you know, I mean, I think I want to say Bella's done it for me before and it just didn't look right. But like to me, like she does a good job. I just didn't think it looked right on me. But like I said, I'm very basic with the eyeshadow. I just kind of swoop it across, give it a little color. And I love the pink. I love pinks on me and corals and, um, bronzes like the browns the golds I love those kind of colors on me um, so yeah that's what I'm using today the hard candy feeling mauve -y. and guys I know this is a longer video than normal but I am doing uh, get ready with me so it is going to be normal than my typical videos so thank you guys for staying with me um, and like I said I'll try to find some pictures to insert with different hairstyles 
Um, I'll show you in a minute what I'm using. Um, you used to you you just have to use a tiny tiny little dab of it. Um, but this is the um, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, but I also use it at the crease. Um, I love this stuff. The color number I want to say oh it's light neutral light neutral is what I'm using and um, like I said I did have a little bit there red at the eye and that's why there at the corner of my eye for whatever reason so that's why I'm just dabbing a little bit there and then for to finish off I have this hard candy um, plumping serum in number 1396 again Ellen had blessed me with this and I just love it it's so pretty um, that's what it looks like and I don't wear a lot of lipsticks well I don't wear any really any lipsticks but I don't wear a lot of lip gloss and I keep it kind of basic like with always putting on like chapstick and sometimes lip gloss but I'm not one to really ever like unless I'm out somewhere it's really special I'm not one to really like reapply or I just kind of put it on in the morning and when it fades off it's done you know um that's the color <laughs> if you can see it I'm gonna, I have like I have this one little tiny piece of hair that keeps where is it? it's right here I feel like I want to spray it but I did not bring my spray with me and I do not feel like running back to get it but um there i think i got it it was like driving me nuts it's like one little strain and i was just like hanging it down <laughs> but yeah this is this is me this is the finished get ready with me um i hope you guys enjoyed it let me try and move you there you go a little closer so you guys get a better look at the eye and the uh I, I really like like I said I really like the pinks with my eyes um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you hit give me a big thumbs up and share this video and I'm really trying to get to my um 100,000 views I'm pretty close but still probably about maybe 15 1800 away so I would love if you've not already subscribed to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this and you'll hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. And um, I would love for you guys to watch some of my playlists to get me up to that 100,000 and to finish me off on my 4,000 watch hours too because I'm probably about 2,000 away from that. So yeah, I guess uh, I'll see you guys in the next video and stay safe, have a blessed day, and until next time. Bye, y'all.